Okay, we're just going to go through what um, what you need to uh, use a Wi-Fi extender to extend the range on the Parrot Bebop um, and Parrot Bebop 2. Um, this is, is everything that I've done. It um, parts cost probably about £25, but most of the bits you may have, well some of the bits you may have um, laying around anyway. Um, first of all, uh, the Wi-Fi extender itself. Um, this is purchased off Amazon um, in the UK. Um, about £16, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'll link to that. And then on top of that you've got just this little caddy which um, takes, you, takes your phone um, which plugs into the PS4. Um, this this does work um, with other controllers, PS3 controllers, as the other one I've tried, and a generic PS3 controller as well. Um, just need an OTG cable. Um, this kit, which I'll link on Amazon, it comes with the uh, the clip which attaches to the PS4 controller and to the phone, and it also, which is really helpful, comes with a little OTG cable, which is what you need to connect the um, PS4 to the to your phone uh, rather than having a long lead it's a nice short one so that's really quite helpful um, and also just to power the Wi-Fi extender just a normal um, battery pack that, to power uh, your uh, that you'd use to power your mobile phone etc um, all you need to do on that is if we get this started is you plug it in I've, all I've done is I've put a little bit of um, velcro on the back of the battery and also on the back of here so what you can do is just put that in place like that so it's, it's all integrated um, really easy to work with nice and compact put in a rack sack and easy um, the only other thing that you need to purchase is, if I just record the screen on here as we're going, all you need to do is purchase um, from the Play Store AR Pro 3. This enables you to um, use an external controller. Now the Wi-Fi extender will work um, with without um, AR Pro 3, it will work with the, the Parrot um, application um, so if you don't want the controller you can just go that route but I like to have the controller, it makes it life a lot easier so what you need to do is you need to configure the Wi-Fi extender as a Wi-Fi extender, now this is the routine that um, I carried out using this device basically what happens as soon as you plug it in you'll get a, um, another network, another Wi-Fi network that's visible which will, is labelled according to this Wi-Fi Plus. So you just log on to that um, it will then redirect you to a web page um, on your browser. So you go onto your browser and under that you'll have a list of all the uh, available Wi-Fi networks. So what you want to do is choose your Bebop um, Wi-Fi network input all your um, uh, password for that and then it will kick you out of that you then have to go back into your Wi-Fi settings and what you need to do is choose uh, you'll see what's happened here is you've got a Bebop which is the original and you've got the extended network which has got the plus behind it so we want to connect to the one that's got plus behind it and then we should there we go now what you can see now is that it's it's actually gone into the uh, it's extending it from so basically what's happening is it's going the the Wi-Fi network from the Parrot is being extended from the the wireless Wi-Fi extender into the phone. Now I've found that this makes a massive difference. I was I found with my phone which is a, a Motorola G4 
um, I found that the the distance I could get with that was maybe 50-60 meters at a push um, and again I found that the same with height so if you went 60 meters up it would disconnect and then it would just fly home so it was quite limited um, with the limited uh, testing I've done of the, the Wi-Fi extender I found that um, it will easily get to the uh, the maximum height distance height that I'm allowed to fly in in the UK, um, and again it will go 500 meters plus. So I haven't actually managed to get it to disconnect, so it's it's very very good. And obviously what you can see here is you can also see if I move the controllers on here, you've got full control via the PS4, which gives you a lot more control. All the uh, buttons can be mapped. So, for instance, I have X to take a photograph. Um, I have the the center button, the PlayStation button to take off and land. Um, and yeah, you can map them to exactly how you want. Um, so for yeah, twenty to thirty pounds, um, it, it works really nicely and is a considerable saving and space saving over the Sky Controller. So. Hopefully this um, gives you a bit of an insight into a quick and easy mod that anybody can do.